Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Amnesia. It's the bonus round, bitches. Uh, this is this is apparently Justine, which I did not know about until like yesterday. And uh, I guess it's bonus content. I I've never heard of it. I'm I'm late to the game as always. <laughs> Uh, good of you to come. This time it will be a trial of character, it says. Continue. Bear in mind, death is final. Nothing will be saved. Okay. So either this is a hardcore mode for the original Dark Descent. Come on, wake up. You need to get going. I, I'm, I'm awake. Let me... So either... I'm guessing this is either, like, a hardcore mode, or... Well, there's my profile, so let's select Jenkins. And here we are at Amnesia, Justine. We've got a new overlay here. And what are the options anyway? I've never... Oh, we don't want to... We don't want that. We'll have the hints up. Show effect subtitles. The subtitles should be shown along with effect voices. Don't know what that means. Focus icon style. Default. Simple. Commentary? Oh, wow, we got it. Huh. I should do that. Love commentary in video games. I'm that big of a... I'm that kind of a nerd. Inverse mouse. I'm gone. Alright, sorry folks, just... Never went into the options before. Let's go... Let's just dive right into Justine. Turn that down a little bit. And so yeah, uh, this is one that I haven't seen somebody do a playthrough of yet, and uh, again, up until last night, I had never heard of it. I'd seen the Justine button on the little startup thing. I didn't know what it did. I didn't feel like pushing it, because, uh, yeah. There's one thing I learned from this game. Don't put, don't click on things that you don't know what they do, because they're going to wind up being a giant jar of acid that burns you. So, yeah gonna let this load, if it will ever load. Oh my god, there it goes. Okay. And here we are waking up again. I sound female now. Is this the chick that he didn't want, that escaped, I guess? I bet, I bet you that's what this is. This is, this is the her that they're talking about. Finally get to find out. I was so confused, and now it's finally happening. Oh my God, woman, would you wake up? We're in trouble. Okay, let's see here. We've got. Oh, good God, we've already got a puzzle in our own cage, locked firmly. Good. Well, let's uh, let's rock out some tunes then. Bienvenue. You are now listening to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. The past? Oh my god. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. What? It is my study oh. of the human psyche, specifically oh, yours. Shit. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. Okay. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on. So, into the next is this portal? Is this Amnesia, the portal version? They can all be safe. There is always a way. Okay, I... Uh, huh. Oh, we don't have any oil. Derp. Okay. Apparently the run feature doesn't work yet. Bunch of rocks, long dark hallway. Yeah, this is all feeling, feeling familiar. Ah, shit, that is a monster, isn't it? I just feel like this game is going to be, like, un unjustly hard. Um, where the fuck am I going? Here's a light. Let's go check out this place, then. Why not? Ow. Every time, smacks me right in the face. Well, this place looks friendly. Let's see if there's one of those, uh... Sousaphone things. Sousaphone. No. One of those record-type dealies. Oh, I thought that was a thing. Oh, 
fuck you. Okay. Oh, that is a thing. That's, that's some laudanum. Alright. Well, we're off to a very amnesia start. Can't see a... Can't see a goddamn thing. Don't know what the hell is going on. Will not budge. Okay. Whoever you are, if you could help me, I would be much obliged. Um, is that you? Help me, please help oh, me. Okay, maybe this will do something. Please, please be reasonable. You don't have to do this. Oh wait, what? Oh, oh no, I no, I didn't mean. Oh shit. We gotta go. Let's try and get him to the other side. Ah, don't have a fucking. Here, I'll 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 read the Bible to you. Can you hear me? It's not too late to set things right. Sir, have you heard about your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? I'd like to talk to him for a little while about him. Is that is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to go door to door? Jesus? Have you led Jesus into your heart, sir? Sir! Sir! Ah, for fuck's sake. Oh. No, that that's not it. I I don't want to push that again then. Seems like the wrong button. Uh, dude, I... Is that chase me music? Shit. Maybe... Maybe that's he's dying. That's chase me music. Okay. Don't, don't go in here. This, no, this isn't interesting. This is an interesting place. Just kind of leave. If you could. Just kind of leave. Is he going away? Hey, footsteps. <sighs> well, welcome back to Amnesia, I guess. I, well, listen, dude, I'm trying to help you, but there's a guy out there. Is he, where is he? Where'd he go? I can't tell if he's still there. Okay. You guys are assholes. Okay, well, I can't figure out what to do. Anyone there? Yeah, I'm here, dude. It's just... Well, maybe I... Oh, maybe... Boxes. Nope. No secret hatch action. Maybe I just pull it again. Oh. No, that, that never seems to be right. What if I just push and hold it up? Like this. Okay. That that was completely wrong. Uh, what's over... Anywhere? <laughs> Still won't budge. Well, let's go find another room, I guess. I don't know. Dude, I tried to help. Oh, God! Talented as Mallow or as strong as Basile, but I'm certain my love is truer. Do not my scars tell you so? I will continue to cut myself as long as it pleases you. I would even kill Basile if you wish. I know you. 
So I guess this is taking place somewhere in France. I will trick him to consume the bromide. Poor Justine, I will help. Just ask me to help. Alois. What? Is that a tennis racket? Pretty sure that's a tennis racket. Or like part of a tennis racket. Yeah. So they were playing like badminton Have or something. Have you seen Justine? Just, okay, so are we looking for Justine? Am I Justine? Okay, I'm just gonna push and hold this down. Well. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Well, that's one. One that I failed to save. Zelda, I got the ladder. Da, 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 da. Now I can go across uh, little rivers. What's this down there? Have I been down there yet? <sighs> so disoriented. It, oh god, I thought that was something. I thought that was that thing that's wandering around here. Wait, is this my room again? Yeah, this is my room. Let's just stay in here. This place seems safer. See? This is a chick. Or <laughs> or little boy. It's kinda hard to tell the difference. Between a grunt, I guess. Jumping grunt. Girls and little boys. They jump the same. Jump like a man. Be like, huh, I'm a jumping. Wait, is that is that it for rooms? I thought there was more to it. Nah, I guess not. It doesn't fucking matter. Well, I got a broken ladder now and a dead guy. God, why am I so stupid? This seems like one of the. This seems like the game that we're gonna need to play multiple times through just to get a perfect score. Is that a thing? Is that a something? Man, I'm already stuck. I'm like, where the where the fuck is my overworld? Oh. What the? How long has this ladder been here? Is it? Oh, if I kill him, does the ladder open. Is that right? Is that how it works? Eh, what? Oh, just kind of jumps to some other level. Okay, going down dark corridors. <laughs> Um, am I supposed to be running? Oh, I think I am supposed to be. But I can't run. Um, I don't know, dude. Huh. What is this? I have to... Oh, jump down. Ow, fuck. Stuff, I guess. Uh huh. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, newspaper articles. Travesty at the conservatory. Many Parisians gathered last night to enjoy the performance of Violin Virtuoso. Oh, Melo. This is who that. Yeah. This be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer George Bizet. But the event took an unexpected turn. Young Melo de Vrouillet turned up visibly intoxicated. His violin cried as the bow was jerked across the strings. Oh god, in public? The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song La Rose et la Bleu. The stress apparently got the best of the young musician as he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. Mademoiselle Justine Flaubel, who was, according to rumors, romantically involved with 
Monsieur de Rion, looked quite amused by the event, and had two of her friends, Basile Carroc and Alouis Rossian, carry him off stage. <laughs> That's the French noise. The evening was saved by us, our musicians. I I went from like English to French. Doesn't matter. The evening was saved by us, our musicians, conservative at the conservatory, who was able to perform a Mr. Delight for impromptu concert of Malheur de Rion absence. <laughs> it hurt my throat. The audience showered their savior praise and calls for encore where awarded spectacular pieces by Offenbach and Jachim. Okay, so that's basically, I guess, everybody who's down here tonight. No. Don't touch the fire. Just ew. just because they have a hand symbol doesn't mean ooh, doesn't mean you have to touch everything. Where's the crank? There's the crank. Congratulations for coming this far. Ooh. I'm so excited for ooh. you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. No. He was a friend and a colleague of my papa, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. Friendly fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. <laughs> He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. Okay. Blood trail. Should we be following a blood trail? No, here's another one. <laughs> Good job, blood trail. Oh. Uh, phonograph, that's what I meant. Not sousaphone. Rather it be a sousaphone. Just walk around, play sousaphone all day. That work. Oh, I think yeah. I think that was that window we saw earlier. No, it wasn't. I guess it's some other window we saw earlier. What is, what is this about? To the library. Oh, thank God, I gotta get the new J.K. Rowling's book. <laughs> That's topical. I'm behind on this game, I might as well be. A be behind on Harry Potter references, right? 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 Nah. Uh, the basement had been extended well beyond the manor during the time of the First Revolution. Justine was not to enter without permission, but now there was no one left to ask. I'm pretty sure this is Justine. Uh -huh. Is that what the f Statues. Oh, that'd be awesome if those things moved or something. Actually, no, that wouldn't. Don't move. Uh, results. The test has been... The tests have been going well. The most long-term, and in a sense, the most promising one is the light box. What? You mean a flashlight? Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a move. For every day is a great way to see the larger overall development of her mind. She definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything, and she is able to effortlessly reduce all her experiences into one four-character slide. <coughs> Using the puzzle block has proven more difficult, as she tends to always choose two slides with characters facing the same way. I... okay, that's a clue to some puzzle thing. I've asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I'm asking. What? Like, hey, why are you doing that? And she's like, what? And they're like, oh, Justine. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so this, okay, we got the slides. Working on that. Let's open up some drawers. Some drawers. Hey, tinderboxes, my old friend. I'm, <gasps> we've got Broom back. Hello, Broom. You ready to sweep up crime? Buddy cop movie. Ah, Broomy. Lying around on the job again. And slamming doors. You know what, Broom? You are... Going in there. Come on. Ah, fuck. Ah. Broom. Just cooperate. Alright. Okay, those things aren't moving. <laughs> They won't start. They won't start coming after me until I solve a puzzle of some sort. Still, kind of don't have any oil, guys. Kind of be helpful to have oil. 
Oops. Oh, God. That was priceless. Antique vase. Uh huh. Eh. Okay. Are right there. There's like four of these things. Two of them are like bigger than the other. Justine, you gotta take a crap? Well, just don't force it now. Uh, don't force it. Uh, Justine. Chair throw. It's a ladylike chair throw. <laughs> God, there's... Are these things multiplying every time I enter, or am I just not seeing these other ones? And what is this? Soul journal? <laughs> Justine, age eight. Today I played outside with Clarice. We saw a boy. We saw a boy picked it at the snail. <laughs> she's, apparently she's a vaudeville act. We saw a boy pick at a snail. Yeah, yeah. Three stooges. Uh, it carried it carried it off and landed on the lawn fence. The snail had a shell and crack and it cracked. Clarice cried and I comforted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scolded Clarice for crying, for playing with me. Clarice, you're not supposed to have any friends. The bird took off in the air. Today, I was the one with open arms. Okay, the slides. I guess there's going to be multiple ones of that. Who are you? Who's there? Oh, is this... Hi. Um... A frame stencil with silhouette of a man, silhouette of a man, silhouette of a man. What the fuck? Okay... You're bad for this. You're bad for this. Am I, am, I, am I not supposed to use this? Hang on. I killed the last guy. I guess that's Justine. There's slide four. Okay. Picked up all the slides. I don't want to turn that on because it's going to kill him. Oh, God. More, pe more penises. This game has more penises than a gay porno or something. Okay, I don't think they're multiplying. I think I'm just missing out on them. And there's two... Did I not turn this? Yeah. On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy? Or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light to guide you. Uh huh. Huh. Oh, this is the light box. You do this. Nice. Good use of a tinder box. That's the weeping man. with open arms. Isn't that what she said in the note? Today I was the man with open arms? We're gonna have to, uh, research the notes pretty deeply here. What? Somebody sh- Somebody trying to break through this? Should I hurry? <laughs> One note was man with open arms, but... Oh, do we even have mementos? I didn't think so. Okay. When I first... Today I was the one with open arms. Ah, okay. Today I was the... Today I played with the slides from Father's Lightbox. Above all, I like the man standing to the right. Father asked why. I said, he sees this thing... He... Uh, <laughs> he sees things he likes. I said, he sees things he likes. Father said, I picked the wrong slide yesterday when I made the chambermaid cry. He wanted me to pick the one with the sword, while I picked the man on the right. 
I never pick the one with the sword. Today I was the one kneeling. Today father came for me in my room. He still couldn't look me in the eye. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed that I only tried to fill the void left by mother. When he wasn't looking, I took the star stone from his collection. Today I was the one with the sword. Okay, so these are all... But we have to... There's only two slides in that one thing. Fuck. Is he really coming through there? I gotta, I gotta fucking hurry. Okay, the man... I guess that's the man on the right. Okay, one was... Man with open arms. Two. Oh. Two. Was man with sword. I wonder if I can put two in there at the same time. No. Three was uh, the weeping man. So what am I supposed to choose? Yes, this is the room. Okay, um... Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Okay, uh, number one was the man I with the open arms. Let's check the notes and pay attention to them here. Today I played outside with Clarice. We saw a bird picking a snail. Cried and I comforted her. Chloe's for playing with me. The bird took off. Today I was the one with open arms. Hey, above all, I like the man standing on the right. Father asked why he said, kneeling. She says, I never picked the one with the sword, but that's when she steals stuff. She likes the one on the right. Wait, which one was the one on the right? You know what? Let's, uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to replay this game. And he shall reign omnipotent. <laughs> Three times. Right? guess is that we're inside Justine's brain and she's like mentally ill. Oh, thank God, more tender boxes. God forbid we get more oil. Ah. So I guess this is just kind of a uh, trying to figure out how to beat this I game. I wonder, is Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him then. Don't you worry. I'm sure he didn't have a family. He probably wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. <laughs> we can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes, that is a comforting thought. Mm, yes, so indeed. Okay. Get the feeling she's bullshitting with me and that I'm doing the exact wrong thing. Oh, God. I don't see anything. 
thing. I don't hear footsteps either, though. sack of potatoes. Yeah, of course that's jammed. Oh man, she is she's not doing well. This is not 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 the best of runs. I 
can't, I can't see, I can't figure it out. I don't know what I'm doing, don't know. This is, oh, there we go. We found it. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Suter has not been a part of the original plan, but she liked the added excitement. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next person that I can kill. I'm sure you have figured out how it all works by now. Are you enjoying my quips? No. I think they are quite clever. You're the only one, not darling. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Poetry has always been my forte. Has it really? But I digress. You should press on. It will all be over soon. Also, the police are here. Maybe they can help you. Oh, thankfully. Splashy Pants mission. I think so. Natural reaction. Jump on top of stuff. Notes. Unopened letter. Monsieur Flaubert. My name... Ooh. My name is Daniel, a friend and colleague of Professor Herbert. You're among his most trusted friends and confidants, therefore I shall reveal my predicament and hope you can shed some light on the matter. Earlier this year, Herbert and I set out on an expedition to the deserts of Algeria while looking for the legendary tomb of Tin Henan. We happened upon a cavern temple buried deep within the sand. In its inner sanctum, I retrieved a stone orb which cracked and split into several pieces. Due to exhaustion, I was sent back to the Briton, waited for his return. Since lost all contact with Herbert, I find myself deeply troubled by the whole affair. I believe Herbert knew more than he was telling, and that he would s that he sent me back to protect me from whatever ancient horror we might have stirred. If you can share any insight in the matter, I'd be most grateful forever in your debt, Daniel. Cool. So it is in conjunction with the main story. Now, the, this is like the expansion. Because it expands on stuff. Cool. Ah. Oh, there it is. That, uh oh. That was a very easy thing to find. Steam. I thought it was that chasing me music or something. Now, something over here. Or is that. That might be where we came from. Maybe. Well, regardless. We got lever. I said that. I said that once. Yeah, that's the way we came. So... Buttons. And this is... Oh. This is where we came. Yeah. I don't know why they gave me this lantern. I have not used it since. Maybe it's like a requirement to get the lantern. Maybe the way the game is made, or something. I really don't know. I have no idea what's happening. Okay, this says it was locked. Which means we have to unlock it. Of course. Just having a little bit of light up in certain parts helps you. See, 
Is somebody making that noise? I don't like that noise. <sighs> Hang on. Alright, sorry about that. My sister called to let me know that she is doing nothing interesting with her life right now. She's not bringing me lunch. That's just... Oh my god, I forgot to close this. Bad idea. Okay. I mean, honestly, where would I hide if he sees me? Did I go this way? Doubt it. piece there. Cog whale cogs. Another one of these little engine thingies. Okay. I really don't want to open this up. Okay, good, thank God. It's not functioning. Oh wait. Was there a cog wheel over on that? Let's double check over here before I open that because they're playing the something is behind that door music and you probably shouldn't open it but you're going to have to open it anyway and get attacked by something creepy music and I don't like that music. We could just take this one for her. Eh. Heavy. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Where is it? 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 Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did it go? Oh my god, pick it up. Ah, you're worse than the broom. Come on, 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 come on. Make haste. Hastily make it. Why did I shut these doors? I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. Oh my god, Grimmett! Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck! 